video what is up y'all i am back with part two so for part two you're going to need your mesh stone cap you're going to need those measurements that you just took i told y'all i was gonna write it down so i wrote it down on this little paper out the pack with the wig caps and then you're going to need your dome heads and your measuring tape that you just used so just for fyi if you're a wig maker um if you don't have all sizes for dome heads then you can't be a wig maker because everybody head size is not the same so you need to have literally every size dome head to be making wigs the right way so i have a 20 throw that over there i have a 21 throw that over there I have a 22, which is most common. This is like my top seller in wig sizes, which is a 22, because this is like a normal set, normal size head. So I have like two or three of 22s. And then you're gonna have a 23, which is what I'm gonna be using because my circumference was a 23. So I'm gonna put this on my wig stand. I'm gonna adjust the camera so y'all can see. So I'm gonna be using my 23. And like I said, 22 is popular. So this is another 22. It's messed up. I normally use this when I'm tinting lace or bleaching the knots or plucking just so I won't mess up my pretty clean ones most of the times. So I have like this 22, which is trash. This is a 22 as well. I have my needles and stuff. So when I'm doing my installs, they are prepped. And then I have another one over there in the closet that one is like blacked out from dying hair so anywho you're going to be you're going to need your dome your dome head which is you know the size of the circumference that you're working with like i said this wig will be practically for me because i'm going off my measurement so i'm going to use the 23 size head and then the brand is also um gx so the head is from GEX off of Amazon and then the stand that I'm using as well is from GEX. Um, honestly, not to get in details with stands, I've been having like a hard time finding a good steady one. If y'all see my office, I have four stands in here and I'll be fighting with every single one of them because it seems like they're not sturdy. So if y'all got some good stands, please leave them in the comments so I can go order them because I'm having a hard time with these. So I'm going to adjust the camera and we're going to get into transferring these measurements over to the dome head and then we're going to add the stocking cap and then I'm going to show you how to do guidelines. Okay? So stay tuned. GX dome head, GX wig stand. All can be found from Amazon. So I have um, some T-pins right here. I stick them in the middle of the dome head. I'm gonna just take those out. And then I'm gonna grab some more because you're gonna need them. So first measurement that I took was my circumference, which was a 23. So I'm gonna use a 23 size head. The next measurement that I'm gonna do is the front to nape. So mine was 14, so you're going to put that metal on the top of the, like the middle of the head. So you're going to take that first T-pin. You're going to put it pretty much right here in the beginning in the front. I'm going to put another one just to like hold the measuring tape. So don't stick them all the way in y'all. Just point it. So this is the one we're going off. Don't go based upon this. It's just holding it. So this is the beginning. And then you're gonna wrap it around. And like I said, mine was 14. So you're going to put it directly in the middle and then you're gonna drop it down and pin it to the number. Mine was 14. So I'm gonna pretty much line it up by 14, but I'm gonna like put it over in that middle. So 14, voila. So you can take this T pin out from holding a measuring tape and you have your front here and you have your back. So after that, we're going to go to the ear to ear from the front. Like I said, I'm not sure if I said it before, measurements, 
I'm gonna come down here so y'all can see me. So when taking measurements, um, when I'm making enclosure units, I only use the circumference. Circumference for closure units is all you need. Practically for these measurements that I'm showing you, these are needed when you're making a frontal unit. You need these measurements when making a frontal unit. Me personally, I've been making wigs for a long time, so I pretty much know. So when I'm making my units, all I tell my customers to send is number, excuse me, is number one, which is the conference, number two, which is front to nape, number six, which is nape of the neck, and then I tell them to send um, the ear to ear. And sometimes the temple to temple, if they have a small head or depending on how they braids are. So, I mean, you can send all six, but the main ones that I really need is one, two, six, and four. So, I'm just going to show you everything, but definitely when making closure units, you only need a circumference. That's for me. I only need circumference. I think most wig makers that I follow only use circumference when making closure wigs. So, all these units, I mean, all these measurements that I'm showing you is mostly when making frontal units. So, anywho, back to measurements. I'm going to show you the ear to ear from, wait. Which one is that? The inner ear across the forehead. So you're gonna turn your dome head. Mine is a 12. So you're gonna basically 12, the middle of 12, which is like the middle number between 12 is six. So you're going to put that six pretty much in the middle on the dome head. I just use that to hold it. And then you're gonna put one over here by the metal which would be zero and then you're going to turn on this side mine was 12 you're going to put your other t-pin right here oh shit did i drop it oh right here by 12. so you can drag the t-pin down i mean the measuring tape and put it in so you can take this one out and voila you have your ear to ear on forehead. I can't, I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but right here and then right there. The next measurement is going to be ear to ear over the top of the head. So you're going to go based off the temple measurements. So mine was 13. The middle of 13 is six and a half. So we're going to put six and a half on this line. This line is very important. So you're going to put the six and a half in the middle of this line is going to be at the top. See, I can't really see it. So six and a half. You're going to take it and put it to 13, which is mine. Take it, put it in the 13. But like I said, you can line it up to make it even. So 13. And then you're going to come around and put it over here at the zero so you're going to basically line it up with the temple so that is done you can remove that middle and voila you don't need both as i said before the ear to ear from the front and the ear to ear to the top is technically the same but the front can sometimes be a little bit bigger than over the ear so when you're making a google frontal i normally go off the ear to the ear but like i said me personally my units do not come glueless pretty much glueless is based on how you're going to get it installed because you have to cut this lace around your ear if you're not physically here for me to do that it's not going to be accurate and i don't feel comfortable cutting it not knowing that it's going to fit i prefer the top than the front just because the top is a little bit shorter so it may be more accurate when doing a glueless unit and just cutting that lace boom just like that around the ear next measurement is going to be temple mine is 15 so the equal of 15 is seven and a half so you're going to put that seven and a half in the middle of the head, which is right here. I just hold it in the middle of the measuring tape to hold it. And then you're going to come around. You're going to measure 15 because that's mine. 
like I said, you can move the measuring tape down just a little bit and pin. And then you're going to come back on this side and you're going to pin zero, which is this middle part. So after that, you can remove that middle measuring tape. This measurement is going to be the nape of the neck. This is where the front to the nape comes in handy because you're going to do the nape of the neck from here. So mine is five, which is um, the equal of five is two and a half. So I'm going to just pin it right here just to hold it in the middle. And then you're going to pin it at five, which is right here. So I just pinch a hole and then I'm going to put it back in there. And then the last one is, hold on. The last one is zero. So I'm going to like pinch a hole and then move the measuring tape and bam. So you have all your measurements. Yes, it was crazy. Measurements take time, but after a while of doing so many wigs, you'll just see the holes. And once you get your customer circumference, you can go based upon those holes. So this is how your dome head should look. Now I'm going to show you how to transfer it over onto the mesh dome cap. I normally do the V to the nape, and then I do the front like this. So I will just put this on the V for me is the nape so I'm going to basically take that out and you're going to drag it down and put it back in that hole that you already had it in after that you're going to take this should be stay still you're going to take and drag the cap down to that hole, which was the nape. This one, take that cap, Voila. So once you pretty much have all your measurements, um, you dragged it out, you can pretty much just, you know, fi fix it and make it even. Some of it may be just a little bit off, which is fine. And then um, you could just like drag them to make them even pretty much. And bam. That is how you transfer your measurements over that you took to your mesh dome cap. My cap is officially done. My measurements are over. This is the front to the nape. This is the nape to the neck. This is the um, the ear to ear over the head. This is the ear to ear on the forehead. And then the circumference itself is 23. Before we're done, I'm going to show you ladies how to do the guidelines. Um, I don't have an extra frontal piece or closure piece on hand right now because China is going through a, um, a festival. So I don't have any extra hair, but I'm going to show you how to do the guidelines anyway before we go. So for guidelines, I pretty much take my measuring tape. It doesn't matter which number. And if you have a frontal, remember, a frontal is going to take up half of the cap. Oh, shit. If you have a closure, the closure is going, just going to be in the front, depending on the size. So I pretty much just take my measuring tape. I just poke a hole. So the proper way that I show my clients when I'm doing classes, I tell them to go off the whole number for the space of the guidelines. 
guidelines do depend on how many bundles you're working with if you're working with a frontal or a closure so i highly recommend when doing guidelines make sure you have your lace piece on so you know how far to do your um your spaces so let's say i'm making a closure unit with three bundles i'm going to go by every half inch i mean every whole um inch on the measuring tape so if i'm working with a five by five a five by five approximately you know is like mid um a five by five normally come to like maybe like up here i don't know if y'all can see a five by five normally like come like to like a 12 and then it comes around so i'm not going to go too far up if i'm working with a frontal a frontal normally come from that that um ear to ear over the head so a frontal normally will come like right here and then they'll come over so i'm just going to show you ladies how to do the guidelines in the back and then um you know when you're doing it yourself make sure you have your lace piece on because it will be best accurate so when i'm doing my classes i normally tell my customers to go by the whole um the whole number so i leave this space because my my name tag would be right here but my logo tag would be on this part so i will first start off here i'll make a line and then i'll go to four make a line go to five make a line and then i'll go to six and make a line i don't have my lace piece so i'm going to stop at seven and eight because a frontal shouldn't be this far back unless it's a 13 by six so once you pretty much have that i tell them to go on this side to make sure that it's you know even and then just draw the lines or whatever and then voila this is like the most accurate spacing using the measuring tape I make wigs a lot, so I know how to eyeball it, so I don't need that. I just show my ladies how to do it when we're in a class. We just connect, which is pretty much like this. Self-explanatory. Oh, that's cricket. And then boom. So once you have that, you're going to just come down, come across. You're going to take this line. You're going to come across. Try to go as um even as possible y'all come across here come across here that t-pin is in the way so it's kind of like uneven i mean messed up and then you come here and you come across so that's pretty much how i show my guidelines they look bad because i'm trying to do it to where y'all can see on the camera so for this side, i'm going to lean it so i can do it the right way so I just connect, 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 connect. You see how that line meets up with that T-pin? That means my measurements are pretty much accurate. So bam. And then this one is going to come right there so my next line will be this t-pin and that's how you know your measurements are accurate so like i said i'm not going to show you how to do the whole thing because i don't have my lace piece but that is pretty much how you would do your guidelines if you want you can always add like a little track right here which is normally what i do after i sew my logo on the inside i don't want i mean before i sew my logo on the inside i would just add like an extra line right here which I can actually add to show you. So I will add an extra track right here. And then I will sew this down. And then I will go in, I'll add my logo. And then I'll go and add this one just so the tracks won't be sewed on to my logo. And then that's pretty much how you do your guidelines. You're gonna go across. Um, if you have a frontal, you're just gonna go straight across. If you have a closure, once you come like to here, you're going to start to curve it to follow around that closure piece. So you're just going to curve once you get to that closure piece. But if you have a frontal, you're just going to continue to go across until you get to that frontal piece. And then you'll have your guidelines. I hope I cover everything for you ladies. And I hope 
that this video was very helpful and yeah so if you go off my videos and you're making wigs or whatever make sure y'all hit me up on instagram show me y'all progress i am an open book so if you have any questions as far as you know the me measurements and you don't really understand you can definitely inbox me on instagram um on my business page which is lady dolls collection if i don't respond back right away i am busy but i promise i will respond um and if you know, y'all got any other questions and y'all don't want to go to Instagram, you're more than welcome to comment below. Leave a comment, let me know. Um, I'm here. Like, I'm still a small business. I love working with other people and giving advice. Even though, you know, I'm still growing. So, I just hope you like this, learn something from this video. I'm happy that I was able to get this out for y'all because this is highly requested, like I said before. And y'all stay tuned for more videos in my YouTube journey. And I hope you guys love this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe before you go. And I'll see you ladies in my next video. Bye!